Hi guys, this video is about upgrading the battery in the cruiser from the standard one that's in there now um, to a 4000 which is slightly bigger. I want to see how much more it holds a charge for. Um, so I've charged this up fully as you can see down there and I've turned the volume off because I don't want to hear it um, but I'm just going to leave it set. I've put the power to 94 because uh, that's kind of like averagely what you'd use on the field um, and I'm just going to leave it running I'm going to set a timer now and we'll see how long it lasts until it dies and then what I'm going to do is then show you changing the battery for the new one and then we'll see how long it lasts with the new one okay we're almost four hours in and she's still going strong Still going. Right, it's been seven hours and there's still two bars left after seven hours. Right, it's finally died after 16 hours. So now we're going to take it apart. We're going to put this in. I'll show you a bit more about this in a second. Okay, if you haven't seen my video already on taking this apart, uh, go and check it out. But basically you just take these outside screws out and then you really carefully like wobbly lift it away after taking it off the shaft. Um, but yeah, it's a bit more in-depth video on that, um, but I'm gonna get straight to being inside this machine and showing you swapping the battery out and the new type of battery I've got for it. Right, so we are inside the machine and you want to put this silica gel to one side because you're still going to want to keep that in there um, just to keep moisture out. And we're going to take this battery out. I'm going to show you the type it is. I'm going to show you the type of the new one. Okay, so I've taken the old battery out. I'll just show you what it was here. So these numbers, these represent the the length, the width and the height, the 90, 40, 85. So it's nine millimeters thick, forget the first zero, then it's 40 millimeters of the width, 85 millimeters of the depth. It's 3.7 volts and it's 3,700 milliamp per hour. And the new one, so if you compare the size difference, see this is a 10, 40, 79, and this is a 90, 40, 85. So there's a slight difference in the size. It's very small. Um, mainly um, the thickness is a little bit more, um, but with this battery, I know it fits in because I already measured it. So this one is going to work. It's got 4,000 milliamp hour, so it's 300 milliamp hour more than the original, which is why I went for this one. Um, it's got a connector on it, but it's not the same as the original. So we're going to have to cut this about midway, and I'm going to get um, my soldering iron out. I'm going to get some shrink wrap and seal up so like you put the shrink wrap on do the solder joint and then move it back over and heat it up so it shrinks and keeps it all sort of safe and waterproof so you don't short it out or anything all right i'm going to do that now and i'll show you it when it's done Okay, so I've now got the original end on the new battery all done. We're going to put it inside, give her a charge, and we'll see how long this one lasts compared to the old one and see how much better it actually is. <laughs>
new battery on charge. Um, as soon as it's done, turn the machine on and we'll start the timer. Right, we are 14 hours in on the new battery and we're now down to one. So not much difference yet, but still got time. That one could last another three hours. Right, it's been 18 hours and we're down to the zero bars. Probably going to make 19, 20, which is a, a better improvement on the original by far. It's a guaranteed two days detecting without worrying about your battery anyway. So yeah, man, I'm pretty impressed with it. All right, it's been 20 hours. Just checking my time, yeah, 20 hours. Still going, so now I'm going to keep an eye on it and see. I'm assuming it's going to die soon. Um, I don't think it will last more than 21, but that's still pretty amazing. It made it to 22 hours on one charge. So definitely going to get two days worth of detecting out of that, which is awesome.